all know the story of Mowgli from Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book about the boy who was brought up by wolves. Or Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan, who was raised by chimpanzees. And then there's the story of Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome, suckled by a wolf in a cave. Ew. But can humans really be raised by animals? And if so, how would they adapt to society? This is your body on being raised by animals. Feral children are children who don't have interactions with other humans. There are about 4,000 accounts of feral children that are considered reliable. Sadly, most of these cases are due to neglect. Here are three incredible stories of humans raised by animals. Raised by monkeys, Marina Chapman. This is Marina Chapman. In 2012, she published a book about being raised by monkeys in the jungles of Colombia. In 1950, when she was a young child, Chapman was abandoned in a forest. She almost died until a family of capuchin monkeys led her to fruit and nuts. The monkeys took her in and protected her, but she still had to fend for herself, taking food when she could. When she was about nine years old, she was discovered by people who, sadly, sold her into domestic slavery. She ran away and lived on the streets where she learned to speak and use her jungle skills to survive. Eventually, she was able to conform to modern society and even married and had children. Raised by wolves, Marcos Rodriguez Pantoja. This is Marcos Pantoja. After losing his mother at an early age, Marcos suffered an abusive upbringing from his stepmother. At the age of six, his father sold him to a goat farmer in a remote area of the Sierra Morena mountain range in Spain. When the farmer died two years later, Marcos was left to fend for himself. While exploring the mountains for food, Marcos came across a wolf cub in a cave. After playing with the cub, he fell asleep and woke later to find the mother growling and baring her teeth at him. Marcos backed away. After feeding her cubs, the mother offered some of the leftover meat to the boy. From then on, Marcos lived as a member of the wolf pack for 12 years. He was found by Spanish civil guards who bound and gagged him to keep him from howling. They took him home to his father. Wanting nothing to do with Marcos, his father took him to a hospital run by nuns. There, he was taught to speak, walk upright, dress properly, and eat with cutlery. The feral upbringing left Marcos traumatized. He fought with the nuns when they tried to get him to sleep in a bed, and he feared he was being attacked during his first haircut. After serving in the military and working with a pastor for many years, Marcos struggled to adapt to modern society. Feeling isolated, he returned to the mountains to live with the animals. Unfortunately, his wolf family rejected him because of his human scent. Raised by dogs, Oksana Malaya. This is Oksana Malaya. In 1991, at the age of three, she was left outside by her alcoholic parents. She crawled into a dog kennel for shelter and warmth. Oksana spent the next five years with the dogs, where she ate scraps left by the animals. A neighbor noticed her at eight years old living in the kennel. She ran on all fours, barked like a dog, panted with her tongue out, and would bare her teeth. She couldn't talk. 
my talk. Once a child passes the age of five without learning to talk, it's almost impossible for them to learn to speak normally. Can you say hello? Oksana, however, did speak before she was abandoned and was able to relearn how to communicate. It took six months to suppress her dog-like behavior. Now an adult, she's able to speak and eats with her hands instead of lapping up her food with her tongue. But she still has moments when she goes back to her feral upbringing, like crawling on all fours when she feels lonely. It's estimated that she has the mental capacity of a six-year-old. Now that we've seen that feral children are real, we'll discover if humans can have superpowers on another episode of Your Body On. Your Body On.